course, Elden Rood has a significant presence of both the fighters and the major skills. We have sizable walls for both. I'm not sure I like how different things are now. All these high elves and Khajiit in our forest. It's Fine. odd. Selling? I've got what you need. Is. is that safe? Is it easy to stumble off of these areas? Additionally, Elden Root has many of its labor facilities, homes, and other elements. for a little certainly a quaint
And who might you be? Master Erevan is away on business. Has been for some time, in fact. I know a prowler when I see one. What do you want? No one just wanders into a council mouth's office looking around. I should report you. What are you really after? And do be honest, we've already wasted enough time here. Ah, the one about Zane Tiraris, is it? Well, I could call the guard and be about my day, but I am a Telvani after all. We don't turn away an opportunity when it presents itself. Perhaps you could help me with a problem I've run into. It's a matter of literature, or lack thereof. I wrote a poem, you see, a cloying, drunken mess of a poem. The post delivered it to my darling Ether and Dora just this morning. If you get it away from her, the letter is yours. She spends most of her time in the study, here in the council hall. She's very diligent, always leaning over one book or another. And the way she licks her thumb when she turns the pages. Sorry, you'll find her in the study, yes. The poem's terrible, plus, if word got to my parents that I'd been courting a wood elf, I'd be written out of the will, repeatedly, with red ink. Then there's... Why do you think Ethan Dora keeps it on her? She knows that if Master Erevan gets wind of this, he might dismiss me from his service. Clever minx. Working for a council mouth is a fine occupation, Fla. I can't risk losing it. She's such a pretty, dainty thing. Not at all like those other scrawny Acon elves. Add a half-bottle of shame to a lusty heart, and you wind up with some very poor decisions. Halt! It's a travesty that criminals walk free instead of being free. Now get lost, scum. I need a I hope this is good news. Well, did you get my poem? Quick, give it here. Phew, what a relief. 
All right, Fla, I'm going to burn this embarrassment. I sure hope I didn't leave Master Erevan's correspondence box unlocked. That would be careless in the extreme. Farewell. Good riddance to bad writing. I was afraid you'd been compromised. Were you successful? Did Anthem have anything worth reading? May I? Ah, a saint's relic. Saint Films. Never heard of him. Hmm. Says here the Redoran wants it too. To squirrel away in some musty old chapel, no doubt. We need to make sure Therana gets it before they do. Looks like the shrine is locked, protected by some puzzle wall. Luckily, the letter provides some hints on how to break in. Solve the puzzle, grab the relic, then make haste to tell Barana. The runner should be there. Offer her the relic on my behalf. Somewhere between certain and apprehensive. The Telvani respect all clever schemes and love to barter. This little intrigue will prove my worth, I know it. Then again, she could just try to take the relic by force. Run? Telvani magisters wield magics that put Giuliano's to shame. Of course, you're quite the hero in your own right. Hopefully it doesn't come to that.
Sarah, please, a moment.
the door is open. Open it last.
Oh, excellent. Another clumsy adventurer bumbles into my home. I really must put a hex on that lift. Have you come to rob me? That would go very poorly for you. Sun in shadow. Oh yes, I know the lizard. An enterprising young mage, if memory serves. Don't look so surprised. Her magical abilities are the worst kept secret in Sadrath, Mora. What does she want? I hope you bring more than boring salutations. Do you now? Well, she's a clever one, isn't she? Even convinced you to do the work for her. Impressive. So, what does our scaled friend want in exchange for this relic? No, no, no. Give me a moment. I'm keen to guess. She wants her freedom, right? Oh, good. I was afraid she'd do something boring with her freedom, like run off into the marsh to worship trees or some such. 
Sun in Shadow shall have my endorsement. I'll give you a writ. Deliver it to my mouth, Erevan. He'll know what to do. There, that should be sufficient. Now, take that writ and be off. I have a relic to study. Do you need something? I'm rather busy at the moment. Oh? Let me see that. Submit to Council. Argonian slave freed. Services to House Telvani. Well, well. I've always known Sun in Shadow to be ambitious, but this is quite the master stroke. I shall take this to the Council and send for her. Feel free to wait in the Council chamber. We will rule on this matter soon. One other thing. Some of my personal correspondence went missing recently. If that ever happens again, the Morag Tong will hear of it. I trust we understand each other. I'll give this to the Council. this moment since I was a hatchling. I knew I'd be free eventually, but now that the moment's here, I just hope I don't embarrass myself. They'll deliberate, needle each other a bit, then set me free. I only hope that they'll take me on as a hireling as well. I'll even get my own quarters. Can you imagine that? Not only my own room, a whole house to myself. My heart is racing. Yes, of course. I mean, eventually. We can talk about that later. Just let me bask in this moment, all right? Truly, I couldn't have done this without you and Ioki. A plan is only as useful as the people who carry it out. You have my deepest thanks, Sarah. Now, I suppose it's time. brings a slave to our audience chamber. I bring tidings from my august patron, Magister Therana. She would have your masters know that this slave, Sun in Shadow, has earned her favor. What? 
Magistress the Rorana would lend her good name to this thing. Preposterous. Rilasa, don't be as tiresome as your master. Uh, can we move this along, please? Very well. Magister Therana, by right of rank, demands that the slave girl, Sun in Shadow, be freed from her bonds and raised up to a hireling of the great house Telvani. She belongs to Magister Otheri, does she not? Indeed. My most beneficent patron, Magister Otheri, acquiesces to Magister Therana's demands. He is confident that Therana will remember this kindness in the future. Sun in Shadow, you are hereby freed and lifted up to the rank of hireling. My most majestic patron, Magister Gothrin, warns you all. Lift up one of these beasts and a thousand more will follow. This is folly. If there's nothing else, I have urgent business in Telmora. You've done well, girl. Do come by in a day or so. I may have some work for you. A hireling. Can you believe it? Not much of a title, I know, but I've spent a lifetime earning it. I'll burn these rags, polish my scales, and work even harder. The next few days are critical. I can't afford any slip-ups. Magisters circle new hirelings like cliff racers. If they see any sign of weakness, they swoop in and pick the bones clean. Not yet, no. Like I said, even the smallest mistake could spell disaster. It's still too early. I can't say more. Not here, anyway. Too many listening ears. Meet me in my new quarters, all right? I have a plan that might speed things along. See what wonders the Telvanni have brought to us. Pity these Telvani tricksters, so proud of their fungal towers. Guild wizards could grow a mushroom twice the size in half the time. Buying, selling. Speak with me a moment. It would be this one's honored.
Keep your weapons sheathed, citizen. The situation is well in hand, I assure you. Bandits. I commend you for springing to this mayor's defense, but you should be cautious. I'm investigating some irregularities in Suran's justice system. I fear the town's lead constable, Marshal Hularan, may be arresting people without cause. Hmm. You did answer the call of a citizen in peril. Very well. I need evidence. Testimony. Many of the Marshal's prisoners are toiling on plantations outside Suran. Talk to them. Gather some proof of Halaran's corruption, then meet me at Ula's Manor. The plantations are crawling with iron-howled mercenaries. I'll draw them away as best I can, but do hurry. They won't leave their posts for long. Ah, you must be a recent arrival. I am called the Scarlet Judge, vanquisher of evil and guardian of the oppressed. I am this island's protector, bound by oath to avenge injustice and safeguard the helpless. No, my oath is of a personal nature. I revere the three, but my relationship with the rulers of Vardenfell is complex. Ordinators are bound by restrictive temple law. It makes them slow to action, clumsy. I have no such restrictions. I've been called savior and menace, hero and villain. If you'd call me a vigilante, then so be it. My only concern is the lives and welfare of those I protect. Wherever Vardenfell's laws cannot or will not act against injustice, there you will find me. Cold-hearted mercenaries. Swords for hire without virtue or scruple. They serve the plantation owners and I suspect Marshal Hlaren. The Iron Hounds will hurt anyone for the right price. The plantation owners pay them very well. Other than the fact that she's in charge of the constabulary? This is a Redoran city. House Redoran demands certainty in all things. Laren's deputies won't sanction an arrest unless there is overwhelming evidence. We have no proof, only suspicion. Yes, precisely. House Redoran does not suffer this kind of misconduct lightly. Once we prove Lauren's crimes, the house will turn against her. I'm working as fast as I can. I, I can't work if you hurt me. Isn't it obvious? We're being worked to death. I won't say more while Overseer Torvain is watching. I can't say more. If you want answers, you'll have to deal with him first. You think... Stand, slave! Don't you have more to say? Another lazy slave, I'll kill you too! I'll beat you! 
Overseer Torvain really dead? Prisoner? Slave, more like. I swear I don't belong here. That Marshal, Hilarin. She says I murdered a beggar the day I arrived in Surin. I can't even bring myself to kill a fly, let alone a person. There's got to be some mistake. Master Karak's building a new prison in Suron, but it isn't finished yet. In the meantime, they make us work out here in the fields. Florin visits Karak's house twice a week. Maybe you can find something there. You have to get me out of here. saw you strike down Overseer Torvain. Well fought, friend. If ever an elf had it coming, it was Torvain. I was taking a deposit to the bank. A week's worth of coin, fairly earned. Marshal Horan accosted me and seized it. Accused me of stealing from some farmer outside town. The farmer's dead, of course, but who needs witnesses when an orc's to blame? Maybe. These damned Dark Elves think I'm nothing but an animal. Some don't even think I can speak. Makes them careless around me. Mistress Dren's been shouting about the quality of her laborers. You might find something of value in her manner. I'll be a skeever's drunk auntie. Did you really cut down Overseer Torvain? Certainly won't miss that horse's arse. Falsely? Hmm. Guess that's a matter of perspective. I punched a dark elf. But I promise you, if that wormy little snowback had it coming, I'd punch him again if I got the opportunity. Well, maybe that someone was Master Arano. And maybe the punch broke his jaw in three places. But that's what he gets for asking me to service his guards. Lauren told me I can shorten my sentence by working here. You telling me different? Shaw's sure blood. I knew that elf was skeeving me out. Oh, when I get my hands on her.
Ah, true to your word. I knew I could trust you. I led the Iron Hounds on a merry chase. I doubt they'll stay scattered for long. What of your search? Did you find any evidence of Halaran's corruption? I see my faith in you was not misplaced. We will discuss your evidence and more, but uh, not in this hall. You trusted me and helped me gather the evidence I needed. Now, I shall trust you with a secret I have carried for years. Come, follow me. My mentor used her wealth to better others, not herself. Having inherited her manner, I now do the same. This evidence proves Lauren's guilt, but there's no telling how deep the corruption goes. There's only one person I trust with this information. Constable Gretgar. I fear I must ask more of you. My observations of Lauren suggest paranoia bordering on obsession. If she suspects that anyone is moving against her, she'll no doubt summon her iron hounds. If a melee breaks out in Suran, innocence will suffer. That's something I can't abide. If Constable Gretgar's going to arrest the Marshal without a fight, we'll have to distract her mercenaries. I'll deal with the constables. You raid the Iron Hound camp in the Daedric ruins outside Suran. Burn their weapons and destroy their supplies.
the last mistake you'll ever make. until we clean up this mess! Not you too. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra. You My there! You've been selected for a random search! Come here! Follow me quietly, away from the gates. We have a judge in common. This will do. Just keep your voice. Sorry about this cloak and dagger nonsense. I can't be seen talking to anyone even remotely suspicious right now. Marshal Florence watching me like a hawk. She's on the lookout for anyone who might be colluding with the Scarlet Judge. I'm a friend of House Redoran, but that'll only get you so far in this town. Especially with Hlaren's iron hounds prowling around. But look, we've got bigger problems. There was an ambush. Somehow Marshal Hlaren found out the Scarlet Judge was coming. Must have been one of the plantation owners. Damn their eyes! I... I wasn't fast enough. They've jailed him. And if I know Hlaren, they plan to do much worse. Hlaren needs him to recant his accusations, publicly. Probably got one of her hounds working him over right now, trying to squeeze out a confession. The Judge will hold out as long as he can, but everyone breaks eventually. We've got to get him out. I'd let you into the prison myself, but Halaren doesn't trust me with the keys. I've got the respect of her constables and the house, but my hands aren't dirty enough for her. You're going to have to find the key. Hmm. Constable Kren will snatch up a bribe without batting an eye. If you're short on coin, try convincing Surin's locksmith Remas to cut you a deal. Or you could talk to Dredini down at Desolace. She might know something. Just be discreet, all right? 
Oh, the judge and I go way back. The two of us, along with the former marshal, kept this town safe for decades. But when the marshal died and Hlaren took over, well, everything sort of fell apart. Ha! <laughs> Is that what we're calling him now? It wasn't too long ago slavery was legal in Morrowind. Buying and selling people was legal right here in Sura. That sound right to you? The judge keeps us honest. Sometimes the law just gets in the way. You. Yes, I'd recognize your face otherwise. What brings you to Suron? Here to tour our idyllic plantations? Sample our redderin wines? Or are you looking for something more <laughs> stimulating? Like an exquisite gem, Suron has many facets, many angles. In truth, we have something for everyone. Looking to expand your mind? I can recommend someone to help you. Looking for someone to warm your bed? I can recommend someone for that, too. Fascinating. Most people come to me asking how to get someone out of prison, not how to get someone in. There's an inebriated constable downstairs who will set you right. Just make sure you tell Kren I sent you. He and I, <laughs> we have an arrangement. My, you're well informed. I like that. I can tell you Constable Mirel went missing a few days ago. Word is he ran afoul of some skooma dealers down in Mazinch. Mirel had a key to the prison. Find him and he may let you borrow it. Mm, perhaps I took a liking to your lovely eyes. Or perhaps I simply hate Marshal Hlaren enough to make her life difficult. You choose. Oh, and if you change your mind about that entertainment, come look for me. I'll cut you a great deal. Bah, I'm drinking here. Bugger off, Fla. Now who told you that? I'm a decorated constable of Suran, not some damned tour guide. Off with you, or you'll see that prison from inside a cell. Oh, can you now? Well, that's a whole different discussion. If you've got the coin, I can... Oh yes, that'll help a great deal. You're a generous sort, and we do love generosity here in Surat. Feel free to take a tour anytime you like. This key will get you inside. Anyone asks, say you found it in a gutter. It wouldn't be the first time. To bargain on the princess song They came to What do you want?
When my father was a constable, he was respected. Now marshals run roughshod over us, and vigilantes make laughing stocks of us all. The old marshal worked with the constables. We handled the daily matters while he focused on the big picture. Marshal Laren set up a separate watch with her Iron Hound mercenaries. She's made us obsolete. Ah, uh, my friend, I see Constable Gretka found you. Uh, please, forgive me if I don't stand up. The Marshal's henchman broke my knees as soon as I arrived. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good to meet you, face to face. I wish it was under better circumstances. One of them. The people of Vardenfell see the judge as one immortal guardian. But in truth, uh, many warriors have taken up the cowl. I was just the most recent. These knees, though. I fear my heroics are at an end. It's time to pass on the mantle. But to you, of course. <laughs> uh, well, don't act so surprised. You've proven to be a capable warrior and a friend to the downtrodden and oppressed. Oh, Vardenfell needs a Scarlet Judge. I can think of no one worthier. <sighs> Unfortunately, my regalia is no longer here. Warden Libo, the prisoner's overseer, took it as a trophy. While they were interrogating me, I heard him mention a hunting trip to Lake Narbia. Find Libo and you'll find the judge's regalia. Once you don the cowl, seek out Constable Gritka. Ha! A doughty and heroic escape. <laughs> Usually I'd jump at the opportunity, but... No, friend. Dragging a cripple out of here only increases the chance you'll be captured. Your mission is too important. So long as I'm here, Hilaran's guard remains down. Oh, there will be more torture, no doubt. I'm not so foolish as to think I can keep silent forever. But I'm certain I can hold out until you retrieve my regalia and deal with Hlaren. I will survive. You focus on finishing this fight. I am not. To the people of Vardenfell, the Scarlet Judge is legendary. Supernatural. He can appear anywhere at any time, or even many places at once. Ah, they think it wizardry. Of course, the truth is far simpler. Exactly. We're a small and diffuse group. When age or injury prove too much for us, we pass on the mantle. The legendary Avona Ulus mentored me. She protected the people of Morrowind for over 40 years. We battled together for 12. Sadly, she passed on years ago. A poisoned blade. It was a very dark time. But as she lay there dying, she charged me with protecting the helpless, just as I charge you now. 
The Scarlet Judge fights on. You too? This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife insists we oh, try a new mage. Oh, look what crawled up. Fine. Now get your stink away from me. Seems I hunt bigger game today.
too? This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife insists we try a real mage. You're back. Did you find Melar? Were you able to get him out? Shaw's bones, he's a stubborn one. Well, let's make sure he doesn't suffer in vain, hey? Halaran's gotten sloppy since Melar's capture. A combination of paranoia and misguided relief, I guess. She's making mistakes. Now's the time to act. I did some snooping of my own while you were gone. According to Constable Kren, Halaran ordered Inanius Eggmine sealed today. Bet you a pint that Halaran's meeting with her plantation allies in that mine. She's probably carrying your evidence, too. The front gates are barred from the inside, but there's an old service door near the back. It just so happens Dredini had a spare key to sell. Sneak in the back of the mine and recover that evidence. I'll meet you out front, ready to arrest Hlaren.
delays are unacceptable. How could you be so clumsy? With respect, I wasn't the one who left an incriminating note on my dresser, Relossi. This bickering accomplishes nothing! The Scarlet Judge is in prison, yes? The issue is well in hand. You are mistaken. One of my informants saw the judge prowling the streets just this morning. Moloch's jawbone! You said you captured him! You said you broke his legs! What if he's not really a mer? What if he's a vampire? He's not a vampire! Stop sniveling! Enough! I've dealt with the judge. Your informants are wrong. Let's move on to more pressing issues, like how we move forward. We caught these three trying to slip away. Should have seen their faces. It's a big risk arresting Saran's most powerful landowners. I'm hoping you've got the evidence to make it worthwhile. Where's Marshal Flaren? Resisted, eh? I had a feeling it might go that way. Flaren was happy to send other people to prison, but going herself, uh, that rattled her knees. It's a shame she won't live to see the inside of a cell, but these three will. For at least a while. With Hilaren dead, command falls to the senior officer. For now, that's, uh, well, that's me. I'll send constables out to the plantations to liberate the slaves. In the meantime, I've got to take this evidence to House Redoran. Oh, Melar. Well, I took a hard look at the evidence. Far as I can tell, this was just one big misunderstanding. Crane and I released him just before we set out. You'll find him in town nursing his wounds, no doubt. You should speak with him.
the last mistake you'll ever make. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, Talenra, but my wife and sister... Greetings, my friend. You cut quite the dashing figure in my old regalia. Another spectacular victory for the Scarlet Judge, eh? I will miss donning the cowl, but it does me good to know that my final adventure helped liberate the people of Suran. Yes, but I do so knowing that the legacy of the Scarlet Judge is in good hands. We Dark Elves are beset on all sides by greed and scheming malice. I fought it all my life, but now it falls to you. Keep up the work, and be the hero Vardenfell needs. Ah, look there. The fruits of your labor. Stay in line and keep those mouths shut, Switz. Or I'll throw you in prison without your clothes. It's good to see you alive, my friend. Oh, very good. Indeed. Forgive me for not getting up. Don't take this as an excuse. You're walking again, or else. <laughs> 